My name is uh, Dr. Lim Sin Hong. I'm a scientist and a venture capital investor. I'm currently an assistant managing director at uh, Biggest Venture Partners, which is a global deep tech and life science VC investment firm. I started and I run the Silicon Valley office and I oversee our life sciences investment practice. I'm also a board director at Emergex Vaccines, which is a UK company developing groundbreaking T cell vaccines that aim to provide safe and durable immunity against multiple viruses, including the many variants and strains of SARS-CoV-2. It's certainly less commonly discussed, but it's extremely prevalent actually. So dengue fever is caused by dengue viruses being spread to people through the bite of an infected mosquito. Actually, dengue virus is also an RNA virus. Dengue is common in more than 100 countries around the world, with about 3 billion people at risk. And it's considered among the top 10 threats to global health. So it's, it is actually a very prevalent uh, disease. There are four major types of dengue virus. Infection with one type gives you lifelong immunity to that type. Most people fortunately recover within a week. However, subsequent infection with a different type can increase the risk of severe disease, otherwise called the dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome. This occurs likely because antibodies against the first virus type may not actually bind well and protect against other uh, dengue virus types. So the dengue virus may actually hijack the antibody, so it's like the criminal again using the shield to evade, invade even more cells and get into more houses and accelerate infection. And this process is known as uh, antibody-dependent enhancement. These poorly binding and uh, non-protective antibodies may also stick to blood vessels and cause disorderly clotting and trigger excessive immune responses that results in severe dengue. There is a licensed vaccine called uh, Dengvaxia. It's made by Sanofi Pasteur, but it's recommended only for persons aged 29 to 45 right, with confirmed uh, previous dengue virus infection. In those who have not had a prior infection, there's actually evidence that vaccination with this vaccine, Dengvaxia, may worsen subsequent infections. This occurs because Dengvaxia is a live, weakened yellow fever virus that's actually modified to express surface proteins from the four dengue virus types. There are many possible reasons why Dengvaxia doesn't work very well and it actually may cause uh, severe disease. Dengvaxia, first of all, it could it possibly not induce a broad enough uh, antibody or T-cell response to be protective. And instead, the limited set of suboptimal antibodies that it induces makes the disease worse in people who have not gotten dengue before. As I mentioned earlier, antibodies can only protect against viruses when they are circulating outside of cells. Once the viruses get into the cells, you need killer T cells. So focusing on antibodies may not be the right approach for RNA viruses such as dengue viruses, which transmit from cell to cell. And again, traditionally, vaccines such as Dengvaxia have been focusing on inducing antibodies uh, to the dengue virus. So really effective vaccines for RNA viruses such as dengue, they need to focus on training killer T cells that recognize and eliminate infected cells. In addition to that, Dengvaxia is relatively expensive. It costs uh, more than, uh, I think, 200 US dollars for three doses. So this can be out of reach for uh, many people in developing countries. The ideal dengue vaccine is safe, effective, after one or two injections, it can cover all the dengue types, so it's sort of pan-dengue, and doesn't cause antibody-dependent enhancement, as Dengvaxia seems to do, and it can be easily transported and stored, and it's both affordable and cost-effective. There's a company called Takeda, Takeda Pharma, that uh, recently completed a phase three clinical trial of their dengue vaccine candidate. That is actually a live weakened dengue type two virus, which is modified to express protein to, from all the four dengue types. Uh, and they reported very promising uh, results. The overall vaccine efficacy is 62% against dengue infection and there's 84% efficacy against hospitalization. But, but here again, I'm actually most excited by Emergex's vaccine offering. Their de dengue uh, vaccine candidate addresses the so-called 3D challenges of uh, durability, danger and distribution. So, first of all, with regard to durability, they focus on inducing killer T-cell immunity, which is much more robust 
and durable in terms of danger. The vaccine candidate is uh, fully synthetic with no live virus or RNA and DNA, and hence it's very safe. It's focused on training killer T cells, so there's no risk of antibody-mediated side effects. And in terms of distribution, the vaccines are designed to be easily administered via microneedle patches. So they're cost-effective to produce and are stable at room temperature. Hence, they're easy to transport and store in places with limited infrastructure. This should uh, enhance affordability and access. So Emergex's vaccine candidate is currently in phase one clinical trials in Switzerland. And you know, I'm glad to say that uh, things are looking good so far. You know, really, the, the Swiss are one of the most rigorous regulatory agencies globally for vaccine trials. So, you know, that I think uh, speaks volumes about how um, promising things are for Emergex. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information.